What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tim, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, sitting out here in my garage outside. Uh, about to feed my turtles real quick, and uh, about to head outside to show y'all my truck system setup. I've been showing y'all everybody else stuff, all the installments I've been doing, and all that good stuff. I'm gonna show y'all what I got set up in my truck. And I'm going to do a full review of my truck here soon. I don't know when, but that video is coming soon. But right now, I'm about to feed these little bad boys. Uh, I don't know what the other one is. He, oh, he down here at the bottom. About to feed them, and then we'll head outside and check out that sound system. Come on with me. Got my two amps installed in now. Running that zero gauge for my 2000 sub amp. Got the eight gauge for my uh, speakers. Even inside the box, I wired it down with eight gauge. I built this little platform it's sitting on. Wrapped it with leather material. Real clean install. My highs amp, got that on eight gauge, powered up. And I think my speaker wire for my highs, like my door speakers, I got one right there, one in the front, uh, two horns, two tweeters, and of course each door speaker, I think that's 12. 12 gauge it's pretty thick too that wire there is going it's for the sub and I got another one right here for the sub and it's under my seat and what's next we're gonna do the blow through cut the hole out my boy Jose and cousin Victor built these brackets for me they lift my seat up two inches so when I build that blow through I'll still be able to lift my seat down reason for it you see it's got these hooks on them hooks in that with the seat at normal height it'll latch on by me lifting the seat up it takes away yeah I could have just Cut that off and dealt with it that way, but I'm mean, lifting the seat up, it gave me more room for my amps to breathe. I got about three inches or so, and if I didn't lift the seat up, it'd be sitting right on my amp. Here's the other speaker. Got my EQ I installed. I need to pull this out. Got some of my material coming loose. Need to re-glue that. 10 inch touchscreen. Yeah, that's about it. No, oh, and this is for my screens. My TV's in the back. I got two 12 inches in the headrest. I'm trying to figure out where I want to mount it. Thinking this right here might be the spot. That was the headrest. All right, I got the box in. I got it sitting on top of the seat. This is the box I'm gonna have uh, for my system. Once I build the blow through, this is gonna slide right in through the blow through. And like I said, my seat will be able to lift down and I'm gonna just build something nice back there where I can have my seat still down and still see the subs. Uh, just gotta pretty much follow me through this build to see what I'm saying. Uh, right now I got the speakers. I had them wired down to one ohm. And when I had it down to one ohm, it was kinda making a weird popping sound. So with a little research, 
and I um, help from a guy on, on YouTube. Uh, let me get his name correct. Oh, that's my, that's my wife right there, everyone. <laughs> She's so pretty, ain't she? But let me get his name. This guy, I have, I've been speaking with him and talking to him about this setup. Uh, he helped me out a lot. Him right there, base attic nine one. Uh, so what we decided to do is go ahead and drop it down to two ohms. We'll bring it up to two ohms. And I think it sound pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, I could turn it up pretty loud without hearing any craziness from the speakers. So uh, I'll go ahead and give y'all a, a little sound test of it. Let's see. Had my boy Slim Thug playing. I started over a little bit. Let me go to the back and then I'll give you a flex. say they move a whole lot of air um it sound pretty decent i'm satisfied with it uh at two ohms yeah keeping it at, at two ohms i think i'm a i'm a i think i'm a rock with that i'm satisfied with it i like the way it sound and uh it's pretty decent pretty clean it, it shakes the whole truck up i mean it's really shaking the truck the seats and everything just be shaking like crazy and like i say this is gonna go inside of the whole lot, I'm gonna build a uh, feather box, pretty much a housing for it. So yeah, just continue to uh, rock with me, check me out. You know, I'm gonna start the build here pretty soon. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. So if you got any car auto needs or questions about anything, if I can answer it or help you out with anything, shoot, just let me know. I answer it to the best of my ability, and I help you find the answers to any question you have so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'm really enjoying this so yeah it's your boy tim and i'm checking out with another video i'm out baby peace